For question 5D, we've got to find the equation of a line that passes through 0, 3 and is perpendicular to another line is greater than 2. So 0, 3 is basically somewhere here. Okay. So that just means 3 units up from the y-axis. And it is perp um, there's a point that passes through that uh, point, but it's perpendicular to another line greater than 2. A greater than 2 just means uh, it's a line that is sloping upwards, okay, because it's positive. So imagine if you had another line like this. Let's just say I drew another line like that. That is a greater than 2. Now there's another line here specifically passing through um, that point right there at 90 degrees and that's perpendicular and we're trying to find out the equation of this line. So let's find out um, first of all what our gradient should be. We write down y equals mx plus b. The gradient here m1 is equal to 2 which is the same thing as 2 over 1. To find out what is our gradient of the perpendicular line we write m2 equals to the reciprocal of this as well as the opposite sign. So that's negative half. We put that right there where m is, so that y would equal to negative half x plus b. And what we're trying to find out is the y-intercept b. We do that by substituting in something to do with x and y, which is our coordinate here that it passes through. So when y is 3, x is 0. So that half times zero, or negative half times zero disappears. So three is b. And what we can do is we put that back into our equation right there. So that y equals negative half x plus three. Let's look at one more example. Question G. The line passes through zero six. Okay, so zero six is right there. It's just six up from the origin. And it's perpendicular to another line with greater 1 over 6. So if I was to do this uh, really accurately, 1 over 6 just means the rise is 1 and the run is 6. So if you imagine running by 6 and rising up by 1 and drawing another point there, okay, and joining up at that point, it's not a very steep line. It's very, um, it's slightly horizontal, okay? So it's flat, it's almost flat. So you've got a line like this. Okay, that's the gradient of 1, 6, but there's another line that passes through this point here, which is 0, 6, and it's perpendicular to it, so that means it looks like this. Okay, so I'm trying to find out the equation of the blue line. We write down y equals mx plus b. Now, if uh, m1 is equal to 1 over 6, then m2 would equal to the negative reciprocal of that one. So if you swap that around and make that negative, it will be negative 6 instead. And we put that right here. So that y would equal to negative 6x plus b. And our final step is to find what b is. So we have to substitute something to do with x and y to form an equation to solve for b. And that is our x being 0 here and our y being 6 there. So we substitute that in. y is equal to 6 and x is 0 plus b. Negative 6 times 0 disappears, so 6 equals b. And so once we found out the b value, we can put that back into this equation where we only need b left. So y would equal to negative 6x plus 6.